हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मयूर उबाले आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सिविल डिपार्टमेंट डब्ल्यू आई सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन अ सेडिमेंटेशन यूनिट ऑफ सर्कुलर क्लैरिफायर सो व्हाट आर द लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिजाइन अ सेडिमेंटेशन यूनिट और क्लैरिफायर यूनिट इन क्लैरिफ्लोकुलेटर ऑफ वाटर ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट सो वी हैड सीन दिस लाइट अर्लियर ऑल्सो in the design of a flocculation unit of circular clarin flocculator so i will just revise it in a brief so basically clarin flocculator is a combination of flocculation and sedimentation unit where first the water will be coming into the flocculation unit where large amount of impurities will be agglomerating to each other with the help of uh, slowing moving paddles and they will be forming big size flocks and then the water will be transported or what we can say shifted to the clarifier unit or outer unit where these flocks will be getting settled down with the help of gravity so we had seen this picture earlier also where we are going to design today the outer part of the clarifloculator that we have to go towards a uh, uh, earlier problem where we had a uh, design a flocculation unit for the flow rate of 300 meter cube per hour uh, of water flow for the same we are going towards now the design of sedimentation unit now for that we need some additional information which can be provided or which we can take up uh, directly by uh, some assumptions for example design a secondary uh, circular sedimentation tank to remove the alum flock why alum because before the water entering into the flocculation unit the large amount of alum or any kind of a coagulant has been added and due to which these flocks are forming so when the water is reaching towards the sedimentation tank large amount of alum flocks will be there that's why the word alum flock is being added into the problem water which is used to for desludging will be 2% that is amount of water which is uh, in the discharge out of that 2% will be used to clear out the sludge from the bottom then minimum size of alum flock which is to be removed will be 0.8 mm right that will be your small d specific gravity of alum flock that is ss will be taken to be 1.002 expected removal efficiency of alum flock to be considered will be 75% or y by y not will be 0.75 if suppose it is 80% y by y not will become 0.8 similarly assumed performance of the particular settling tank will be very good for very good condition we have to take n to be 1 by 8 if it is good we have to take 1 by 4 so as it is given it should be very good so i am taking 1 by 8 the kinematic viscosity of water at 20 degree celsius of temperature that will be new to be taken as 1.01 into 10 raised to minus 6 so for the first what we will do as we are assuming that whenever we are going for the sedimentation tank we assume that after the flocculation unit the water will be spreaded over to the uh, sedimentation unit through multiple ports and after that the water will be reaching towards the uh, sedimentation unit and then uh, the uh, process of clarification will be taking place for that the additional 2% we have to add into the sedimentation unit why 2% because it is given that 2% will be used for desludging so we need that additional 2% as the volume or the flow rate for the sedimentation unit so required water flow rate we uh, is uh, 300 uh, meter cube per hour additional 2% so how we can write it the average design flow rate that is your main q will be 100 divided by 100 minus 2 into uh, 300 and you will get the value to be 306 meter cube per r after that to find out the influent pipe size as we know that cross sectional area pipe that is ap will be q by v where v will be the velocity which is passing through the pipe and we will assume to be 1 meter per second that is uh, a general value so by that we can get the ap what will be the ap the ap will be 306 as we have to convert it into meter cube per second because we are taking the velocity is meter per second that's why we we also have to take the q to be in meter per meter cube per second so how i can write 306 divided by 3600 uh, 
whole divided by one in one meter per second so you will get the value to be 0 0.085 meter square so that will be in meter square that is your area but we know that is area is having a cross sectional circular in form so we can write it as 0 0.085 meter square to be equal to pi dp square divided by 4 where dp is the diameter of pipe by which you will get the value of dp to be 0 0.26 meters or 260 mm so let us consider the a relatively higher value that is 300 mm diameter so provide the influent pipe of having the size to be 300 of diameter in mm now let us compute the minimal uh, what we can say velocity for the particles to be settled down where we have to take the stokes law and we have to assume it will be valid so what is the formula of stokes law that is vs is equal to g by 18 in bracket s s minus 1 into d square where d is the diameter of particle divided by nu we know all these values and few are the values which are provided in the problem so it can be written as 9.81 divided by 18 multiply by in bracket 1.002 minus 1 multiply by 0 0.8 into 10 to 2 minus 3 we are taking in meters that's why it is coming 10 to minus 3 whole square divided by 1.01 .01 into 10 to minus 6 that is your new value it is also given in the problem statement so by which we will get the value to be 6.907 into 10 to minus 4 meter per second we know the reynolds number what is it that is vs into d by nu so what is your vs which we had calculated earlier that is 6.907 into 10 to minus 4 multiply by the diameter of particle that is 0 0.8 into 10 to minus 3 divided by the kin uh, kinematic viscosity that is nu that is 1.01 .01 into 10 to minus 6 as this value is coming about 0 0.55 and which is also lesser than 1 it means that stokes law is applicable here the velocity is laminar and whatever the value that is vs we are getting will be remain same that is 6.907 into 10 to minus 6 meter per second now we know the settling velocity of particle for 100 percent removal efficiency what we assume your sor that is surface overflow rate will be equal to vs then what will be the sor it will be it will be 6.907 into 10 to minus 4 meter per second convert it into meter per day what you will get that is 6.907 into 10 to 4 multiply by 3600 multiply by 24 that will be coming about 59.7 meter per day now the whatever the circular unit you are designing the chances are in the practical sense there will be large amount of conditions where this efficiency may go down due to abrupt changes due to some temporal changes due to some permanent changes and like that we call them as short circuiting due to some velocity changes due to some weathering all these things or rainy seasons chances are the velocity may get changed due to which the efficiency also may get changed therefore to handle that there is a, a particular formula that is y by y naught is equal to 1 minus in bracket 1 plus and vs divided by q by a whole raised to minus 1 by n where this formula will make sure whatever your efficiency you are getting is correct or not so for that we know y by y naught which is given in the problem that is 75 percent or we have we can take 0 0.75 and n is also given that is 1 by 8 so putting all these values and calculating you will get that is vs whole q by a to be 1.514 just rearranging what you will get the sor that is q by a will be equal to vs divided by 1.514 so putting the value of vs you will get nearly 39.43 meter per day this is your design sor as this value is coming in between 30 to 40 that is the range of sor for the circular sedimentation tank it means that whatever calculations we had did till now whatever the design we had did till now is correct and is acceptable and we can move forward now we have to calculate the dimensions for that we know the q that is 306 meter cube per hour now 
we can assume the detention time that is uh, three hours we can take between 2.5 to three hours we know the detention time we know the q we can easily calculate the volume which will be q into t just put up the values that is 306 meter cube per hour multiplied by three hours it is coming about 918 meter cube as we know the volume and we know the sor we can easily calculate the area what will be the area area will be discharge divided by sor put all these values that is 306 meter cube per hour convert it into the day that is multiply by 24 hours per day whole divided by 39.43 meter per day by which you will get the value to be 186.24 meter square it is in meter square now we know the area now this area will be the whole area we have to remove the area of flocculator so by how we can write it that is pi by 4 d2 d2 means this clarifier diameter minus d1 d1 means flocculator diameter so pi by 4 in bracket d2 square minus d1 square will be equal to 186 214 meter square and we know the flocculator unit diameter which we had calculated in the earlier video uh, and it is 5.6 just put up and you will get the value to be what we can say d2 to be 16.39 meters fine so diameter of clarifier is coming about 16.39 meters now we had calculated the diameter let us go to the calculation of depth we know the area we know the volume we can easily calculate the depth what is the volume volume is area into depth so just rearrange depth will be coming about volume divided by area we know the volume 918 meters cube divided by 186.24 meter square by which we will get the value about 4.93 so we can take as 5 meter that is the effective depth add the depth of freeboard we can assume to be 0 0.2 meters that is for upper part and add the depth of a sludge bed which is provided at the bottom consider it to be 0 0.5 add them we will get the value about 5.7 meters so total depth will be 5.7 meters so let us have few review questions first sedimentation tank is the outer unit of clarifloculator whether this statement is true or false maximum surface loading rate in circular sedimentation tank is minimum detention time of clarifier in clarifloculator is so what will be its answers first yes it is the correct statement second uh, sor is a uh, maximum sor is 40 and minimum detention time is always 2.5 hours these are the references i have used to make this presentation thank you